we're the type of people who like always really wanted to start our own business and we just worked really well together and thought we couldn't think of better people to go into business with than each other. Back in college I had a pinball machine in my dorm room and that's sort of how we connected. You know, I, she was at an event and I said, hey, let me show you how to play pinball. So we, we sort of, sparks flew over that. And uh, so it makes sense that we've opened an arcade together now. We had kind of been hearing, obviously, rumblings about it, um, you know, a few weeks before um, the shutdown actually took place. Just to go from like kind of one day to the next where it was like, okay, we're not able to operate anymore. Now we have to like completely figure out, you know, what are we going to do? And for a small business that, you know, is really relying on obviously being able to open the doors to have people come in and pay admission to play these games, it's something that's really difficult. And we ultimately decided to start the GoFundMe about three and a half months into our closure because we had exhausted all avenues of support. And we initially asked for $10,000, which would help us just kind of keep the doors open for another month. And within nine hours, they exceeded that request for help, and it just meant the world to us. The thing that I would want people to know is just that how much their support truly means to small businesses right now. Seeing how people have come together and rally around us and really encourage us to just keep going is just the fire that we needed to, to kind of get out of the dark times and keep moving forward towards the positive.